Sean from Edgesize, ready to show you another easy game that you can easily design yourself at home or obviously get from Edgesize.com. So, again, cone, Velcro. So this game is called Speed Cones, where the kids are moving like animals. Now this game is always a way to light up your classroom with excitement, energy, and of course a bunch of movement, which we know we need, our kids need now more than ever. So, how the game works is, you set up five cones. You're going to put, now this is a primary version, uh, that's primarily used in first and second grade. So there's, I got the number 5, 2, 6, 14, and 7. And each game card has a different animal that I have to move like. Now when the students play these games, the students have a total of 20 game cards. So these are every fact that equals, you know, 1, 14, all the way through 20. So simply, all you gotta do is write all the facts that equal something on a, on a card, laminate it yourself, super easy to do. So, the kids have to play a strategy in this game. So I have to know that I have to find a problem that equals 5, 2, 6, 14, or 7. So this way we're tricking the kids into learning. They look at this card, oh, 4 plus 7 is 11. That's what I want. 2 plus 10, nope, 17. These all, oh, I got one that equals 2. That's crab walk, so I'm going to solve my problems. So I've got 2 plus 0, 0 plus 2, and then I'm going to go do my crab walk. <laughs> and then I take my point, and the red team will be doing the same thing. So I'm trying to find 5, 6, 14, or 7. So they have to use strategy. They have to communicate with their partner. Um, lots, of, lots of communication is the, the key to these games. All right. As I'm going through, there we go, 14, zebra. I'm going to solve a minimum of four problems. And what's great about it is every single one of these game cards is equal to 14. So whatever I write on, I'm good to go. So I'm going to gallop like a zebra. And I'm going to gallop back. And then at the end of my game, one team's going to have three points. One team will have two points. There's always a winner. But in the end, the winning is getting the math facts correct and the kids communicating, using strategy, working together. We know our students right now, they need games. They need to play. They need to move. Too much sitting. 85% of the time in our schools, we're sitting. Get moving and learning with exercise. Life-changing education. Hashtag move to learn. Let's go.